Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Tea Time. I'm Alex. And I'm Jared. And today we're drinking a Teavana blend, a uh, red apple cider tea. It's all right. It's a little watery. I got some chunks in mine. Yeah, uh, my... My steeper is not designed for on-the-go use. So, what are we talking about today? Well, it's something that's been an issue for quite some time. Uh, we're talking about Nintendo again here, everybody. Uh, specifically on the idea of pre-orders oh. for pretty much anything. Um, in my experience, and probably all of your experiences, Nintendo has not been the best when it comes to limited edition Amiibos or limited edition figurines, consoles, blah, 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 blah. The list goes on and on and on. And we're seeing that here again with the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Now, do you think that this is purposeful? Do you think that this is part of their, I don't want to say scheme, but their business model to create a sense of want? Or do you think it's because Nintendo's just bad at numbers. Well, I can't exactly actually source this information, but I did read online on the internet. The internet knows all. We're all very aware of this. But I did read online on an article somewhere that um, remind me of the big man upstairs for Nintendo's name. Are you aware of that name? Which one? Reggie fils Sure, we'll go with him. That's the American one. <clears throat> They stated, the Nintendo higher-ups, that they do their business model on purpose, like Alex was saying. It is a business model. They do it on purpose to create need and hopefully greater success for the life of the console or whatever they're putting out there. Okay, so they are... Mm. I that... read that online on an article. Interesting. We'll see if we can find that and put it in the description, because I'm curious. I haven't read that myself. That does not surprise me. Neither does it surprise me. No. But it actually sheds light on a lot of questions that some Nintendo fans may have had in the past. For example, when limited edition 3DSs started to come out, um, there were very limited supply of 3DSs. I wanted the Ocarina of Time Gold Triforce limited edition 3DS for uh, a Christmas gift one year, and my relative who was going to purchase that for me thought they had gone well enough in advance to get one but it was to no, to no avail and here's the thing i here's the problem i have with that is nintendo i have money i would like to give you more of my money why won't you let me give you more of my money yeah no i i wholeheartedly agree with that statement and i'm not saying that there isn't use in their business model in creating a desire exactly but i uh, i've got the mewtwo amiibo right here actually uh i for the life of me just wanted a couple of amiibo from the smash brothers line mm -hmm. one of which was meta knight mm. and good lord above can i not find one anywhere literally anywhere i mean online i could pay 50 bucks but i refuse to do that because if there's a club out there, let us know. Well, no, I'm just saying, if why why would Nintendo do that? I mean, they're not going to make money on me buying it secondhand for three times the price. Someone else is making money. Yeah, but that's not good for them. No, in it's fact, not it good makes for them me at all. feel bad about that, or having to go through a third party as opposed to Nintendo. Exactly. So, I guess, in a roundabout way of thinking about that. What do you think the Nintendo Switch, which is, once again, following suit, mm. what do you think, do you think that's going to be a positive, like it was, comparably speaking for the Wii, because you couldn't find one of those for months after it came out, right. so do you think they're just banking on that, are you mm. trying to... Here's how I feel about that, I'll answer this question. Okay. Well, the, the, my feelings towards that are such... Nintendo, here, scratch that. Cool. Here's, here's my answer, everybody. Nintendo knows that it's negative for the Nintendo Switch. They've already said that they were going to create more Nintendo Switches for pre-orders, which have now 
approached our, they have now um reached the threshold of being sold out again really I they have know. i didn't know that and i'm not certain that nintendo would make more however um i think them not having enough nintendo switches at the announcement for pre-orders is ridiculous and is definitely a negative because they realized it was and hence made more units to sell and yeah. have approached the point again where they would have to make more units less almost less than a month away from launch yeah actually it is less than a month it comes yeah this out. is a uh, day before valentine's day yeah happy valentine's day no they come out in like three weeks <laughs> so so i don't think they'll be making any more for pre-order they're making more right now, but I, you won't be able to pre-order them, I would say. Yeah. And, I mean, <clears throat> I does that make me want one more? Maybe a little. Maybe a little. Maybe I, a little. If Truth I was going to purchase one, I would want I would want it even more knowing that I couldn't have it. Yeah, because... But I would want to pre-order it. Yeah. But that's what they're banking on, and I hope, I hope that this is just a plan, that they actually have more just in a warehouse somewhere i really hope that because otherwise i mean it's gonna take so much more time to make it and then they might lose steam or they might lose <clears throat> some of that traction with the developers a myriad of problems could arise from them not selling much at the beginning correct so i don't know i'm interested to see how that one pans out i don't know what do you think hmm I see the future of Nintendo Switch after launch. Right after launch, like the imminent future, being a little rough. People who will have the unit will be excited to have it. People who want the unit, again, going back to what Alex and I had stated earlier in this video, Nintendo's not going to be getting the consumer's money if they have to buy it secondhand. And someone is going to sell a Nintendo Switch to someone else for a whole lot more money because they want it. And Nintendo's not going to see any of that money. Other other than, of course, the person who pre-ordered it and went to buy it, yeah. right? And then suddenly they make double what they purchased it for. And to build off that, that doesn't make for a good business relationship. Right. So I, I don't know. I mean, are people tired of Nintendo's shenanigans when it comes to this? I know I am. I am as well. Alex and I can agree on this. So, I mean, I just... I am sick of it. Like, I want to buy this Nintendo. Why, why, why you make me jump through hoops? Why are you making me, why jump, you through making me jump through hoops? <laughs> All right. I think, I think that's basically what we had to say on this one. So that well, covers it pretty much for this video. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section down below. And if you think this was okay, you can like it. Yeah. Or don't. I don't care. <laughs> don't do anything or dislike it. Dislikes are fun. Maybe we suck. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, actually, if you dislike it and you made it this far, first of all, congratulations. Second of all, please tell us something you would want us to see or you would want to see us do more other than die and burn in a fire because that's not constructive. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>